Alberta will no longer ask permission from Ottawa to be prosperous and free. A double barrel blast from two Western Canadian premiers. And we're not going to allow um, another level of government to infringe on uh, provincial jurisdiction. Alberta's Danielle Smith and Saskatchewan's Scott Moe both promising to find more authority, more sovereignty for their provinces. A political watcher warns it heralds a new era of constitutional showdowns. We're going to see the next five years with a series of federal provincial conflicts, um, increasing demands from Saskatchewan and Alberta, also from Quebec and maybe from other provinces as well. Western alienation is nothing new. The fresh outrage, Ken Coates says, is driven by burgeoning libertarianism, the province's booming economies, and anger at the perception they're being throttled by the federal government's push to meet emissions targets, which Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently reaffirmed. There is a cost to climate change policies. The cost is substantial. The cost will be borne disproportionately in Western Canada. It's also inspired, Coates says, by Quebec's success in pushing back against Ottawa on things like language rights and immigration. Canada has been seriously weakened by, by the freedom that Quebec has enjoyed. Um, it may be good for Quebec, but it isn't good for the country as a whole. Uh, if you get three provinces doing it, you'll end up with five or six doing it. Saskatchewan's speech from the throne Wednesday will likely include a new salvo against Ottawa. The opening barrage already took place, with the province's finance ministry claiming federal climate policies will cost Saskatchewan $111 billion over 12 years, though many economists have derided the math. What it all does add up to, Coates predicts, is escalating conflicts on jurisdiction in coming years and less progress on things like climate change or Indigenous rights. Nathaniel Dove, Global News, Saskatoon.